uh, how you telling this, like, this bullshit? God damn it, dark dude, motherfucker. Well, anyway, hold on, this is Mr. Wong, a.k.a. the icon, you can't see me. Um, I'm happy, I got 158 subscribers, thank God, thank you. Um, I knew it was people that got thoughts like me, you know, because, um, I'm fucking retarded. And I said, I can't be the only one as well be thinking this way. You know what I'm saying? You know, I, t- I try to give a uh, little uh, relationship advice. And uh, what the fuck is that crossing the fucking street? See, this suburb shit, what the fuck is that? I don't know if it's a cat or a hyena. Um, yeah, but I don't know like, on some real shit. I be thinking, like, on some shit, like, I be just saying my thoughts, and then like the racial advice. I, I don't. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a so- sociologist. I ain't none of that. I, I, I went to college, but I told you I went to college with high school girls. I ain't really study shit. The best thing I got in my life was a high school diploma and GED. I mean, what's a high school diploma and GED? That's stupid. Well, I got a high school diploma and a CDLs. That's the best thing I got in my life. But I be thinking about a lot of shit. So I said, you know what? I be talking. When I, when I, how I started this um, YouTube video, it was like. Um, I was a, I'm a truck driver, so you know I be gone for months at a time. Right now I'm on vacation, but uh, um, cause I finally got a job and got you know what I'm saying this coronavirus really did a nigga in, but um, yeah. So I started this YouTube shit because I was bored of talking to myself. I said, you know what, I'm gonna start a YouTube video. So when I talk to myself, you know what I'm saying I put it on a YouTube video, and then I play it back. The motherfucker talk to me, and I can talk to it. Fuck it, you know what I'm saying? And you know, certain situations happen. I got fired from the job, so I kept on doing the YouTube shit. And you know, I kind of like this little shit. It's just all right. It's pretty much all right. You know, 158 subscribers. I thought I was about to get like two. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this since February. Been doing uh, doing this shit since February, and it's May now, so it's about three months if I can add correctly. And now it's like. I got 158 subscribers in three months. It's, you know, that's a good thing. I thought I was about to have two. two. And I said, I'm going to keep on doing this shit because, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I spread knowledge. Sometimes I spread knowledge. And sometimes, I'm like right now, I just talk. And, you know what I'm saying? And, then, you know, this world been good. Good. This, 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 it's getting better. My situation getting better. If you've been following me, my situation's really getting a lot better. You know, I just got a little court case coming up. And then once that gets solved, I'm back on the job. I got me, I got me a nice wife. Got me a daughter. Got me a son. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty much, pretty much set. You know, I'm saying I can just move on. This this little ankle brace is really um, uh, hindering me right now. But right now, um, like I told you, like the YouTube. If you've been following my channel, this YouTube. It's not really like none other because it's like a documentary of my life. And then I try to post every day. Sometimes I miss days. Sometimes I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I just don't feel like doing it. And, um, but sometimes it be, but when I go and smoke a cigarette, like I'm finna do now, it's like, I, as you can see in all my videos, I always smoke, but you know, it, it is just like, it's pretty much copacetic, I, I, I fuck with it, you know. It is funny how, you know, a lot of shit, I like, I think about a lot of shit like God put me in this situation because if, if man, God worked in mysterious ways. I wouldn't find a wife. Um, God put me through situations to understand what the other side is about. You know what I'm saying? I got a faithful wife. You know what I'm saying? Really just go to work and take care of kids. Usually I have females just want to go out and party and drink all day and shit. I don't got, she don't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good, pretty dope. I, it just, now I know how to, to treat a real woman better than little girls who I was had in the past. But like I said, YouTube is really about my documentary of my life. You know what I'm saying? You saw me, well, if y'all was following me or subscribe or your past videos besides the Bible, you know what I'm saying? You see me just right out reading the book of the Bible and all that, reading the books of the Bible and shit like that. You, this really is like a documentary of my life, you know what I'm saying? So, because when I become what I want to become, y'all see, like, okay, this is how he came to this situation. And I, I you know, I I watch a lot of YouTube videos, you know what I'm saying? I watch a lot of, a lot of shit. And YouTubers, I can't name their name off the top of my head, but they do, you know, everybody to each his own, you know what I'm saying? I said, what's well, make me stand out from the rest because it's like me, it's just a documentary. 
of when I become successful and then I'd say if somebody want to write a movie, I should just look at my YouTube videos and you, you, you would get it, you know what I'm saying? You get the documentary, you know what I'm saying? You know, I, I started at 30, 31, a month before my birthday. My birthday is March 9th, so it's about a month before my birthday. I started in February. And I said, up to the point I, I become successful and they would take, uh, I want to write a movie about my life, I said, okay, we're going to do this YouTube video. Just so I forget what I forget, you know, in my mind. If I say, I forget now. Shit, I can't, I can't imagine 20 years from now. And I'm trying to get successful in 20 years. That's going to be the, the average for everybody. And then I, I'm going to look back, you know, what I've been through, you know what I'm saying? And I, that's why I said I got advertised to the world because, because if I could come up from a jail cell, from homelessness, from an eviction, and become one successful, and just look at my YouTube, and I want to give other people hope. And a lot of people just don't, you know, everybody give up. I mean, I can't say everybody, but majority give up on life, you know what I'm saying? Start taking drugs or in our jail, start doing the shit they used to do. You feel me? Me, I I just want to give people hope. That's the, if, if I don't get successful, and while my uh, turn my fantasies to reality, if I don't get successful, I still want to. I want to get somewhere in some type of success. And then, like, yeah, he came from jail. He came from this. He came from that. And look how he became this type of person. You know what I'm saying? So it's like I got fatties. You know what I'm saying? I got evictions. You know what I'm saying? You know I got bad credit. You know what I'm saying? So if I want to come out of that, I want to show it to the world that if all else fails. Never give up because this can you'll never know what tomorrow will give you. And um, trust me, I trust me, I try to commit suicide too. Thought my life was about to end, try to commit suicide. I did all that, you know what I'm saying? Drugs, all that, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I just want to show people hope. If you know what I'm saying, that there is hope out here, you know what I'm saying? It, it may look bleak, but thank God for what you have, and then you don't. You don't really know what it, what tomorrow brings. It might look bad now, but you know how I look at now that life. It's like we have more good days than bad if you really analyze life. We have way more good days than bad, but sometimes pain hurt. You know, well, obviously, I can't say sometimes all pain hurt. Pain hurt emotionally, physically, mentally. Pain hurt, but pain only lasts so long. And besides, um bad days it's a short time you have more good days than bad, uh, bad. and it's dependent how you manage it you know what i'm saying don't get too big headed don't get too prideful always believe in god because you never know what tomorrow brings you know if it's ha you having a bad day now tomorrow gonna be better you know what i'm saying if you have a bad day tomorrow uh, tomorrow the next day gonna be better trust me always look at the positives you know, my grandma, before she died, always told me, prepare for the worst, hope for the best. You know what I'm saying? Prepare for the worst. Because when you prepare for the worst, your worst ain't going to be that bad if you always if you already prepare for it. And then a lot of people uh, don't prepare for it. So the bad so the bad look extremely bad. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I just want to give people hope. That's all I want to do in this YouTube, just give people hope. And uh, like, share, subscribe. God love you, Jesus love you, and I love you. And you have a blessed day. Stay corona free.